Now before we look at Gunpla news this week, let's check out the awesome modified kit which is the GNX as you can see here on the left is the original kit and on the right is the heavily modded, heavily customized GNX. We really like how the model has made so much different modification to make the kit look stand out to an already excellent design but if you look at the how much work has gone into putting in terms of the, uh, the GN drives, the ways, it's just really awesome. What we really like uh, most about the customization of course is how the model has actually added in a lot of different plug plates and also scribbing to increase a lot more panel lines as well on the kit but the one that uh, we also thought was quite intriguing was how he has actually managed to put in a GN drive onto the beam rifle itself as you can see there at the bottom of the rifle there is actually a GN drive a purple GN drive so that was what we thought that was quite interesting so all in all a uh, really amazing GNX customized kit if you guys know who made this kit please let us know if you'd like to get in touch with the modder The next awesome build we want to feature is the Reborn 1100 Hamahama. Hama. This kit looks really amazing. Uh, we believe this was made by a modeler in Japan. We can't remember the name. We're trying to find out where or who it is. But the amount of detail, the finishing, uh, if you look at the matte finish here, looks really fitting for the Hamahama Hama 100. And we keep forgetting that this is one of the kit that is on our buy list. So we are definitely looking out for this. Now, before we go on to the rest of the video, we just want to warn you that this is going to be a premium Bandai Heavy release news week. So if you think that you don't like uh, premium Bandai news, please uh, stop watching this video and find some other videos on our channel to watch right now. First up, uh, that's coming up from our kit. This is a re-release. This is of course the Ribau, again from the Reborn 1100 line. Uh, we thought that we always like the Ribau. This kit looks amazing with a lot of sharp angular design and with the different shades of green plus yellow and a little bit of red on the shield really make this kit stand out um, again Reborn 100 is definitely one of our favorite lineup from Bandai in recent years and we definitely have to get our hands on this when we can actually get a hold of this this kit is coming up very soon Now the only new kit that was announced this week was the HGUC 144 scale uh, rig look. I don't know whether I pronounced that right because this is using Google Translate. I'm not sure what's the name of this kit. But this kit looks kind of weird to us because it has a very big and broad uh, shoulder armor. And also very small thrusters on its backpack. So we believe that the shoulder armor is where the uh, thrusters come to play to lift this mobile suit up. But otherwise, the proportion of this kit looks kind of weird. Uh, we'll probably be skipping this kit. Panda has also re-released the Quebly. This is the HG version 1144 scale. And the Quebly has always been one of the most interesting design in the Gundam universe. Uh, for those of you who have followed the series, will probably be getting this already have this. But for us, we think that the, one of the most interesting um, announcements this week is actually the funnel effect parts that actually comes a companion piece for the Quebly. So if you guys love Quebly, especially in 144 scale, you should definitely be checking this out. And finally, this is also another reissue under Premium Bandai. This is the one 144 scale Susa. This is a very interesting kit. We love the design of the head. And if you look at here, this is just a normal pose. There's some gimmicks to this kit. It actually has a lot of missiles hidden within his legs, his thighs, 
his uh, shoulder and also on his arm as well. So this is one crazily uh, heavily armed mobile suit with a detachable uh, backpack as well. So that is quite interesting. We kind of wish that this was just a regular release instead of a premium bandai but uh, that's a relative today, right? Most of the kids are coming up from the premium bandai line. So that's all the news for this week. There aren't a lot of new kits being released by bandai but instead there are a lot of uh, reissues. But more importantly is how would you guys be spending your money in the coming months? Will you still be getting a lot more premium bandai kits or will you be testing out the new Zoids or even the full Metal Panic line? Do let us know and again as always thanks for watching.